I would say that New York is a wild kingdom. I mean, the amount of activity on the streets, you could honestly do a National Geographic video. The native New Yorker in his natural habitat is a cunning and skillful creature. That was funny! But it's not just the people that are running wild, because in the past few years, there are several other species that have been roaming the streets. And it's true. Like in 2011, when an escaped peacock enjoyed roaming around the city. 2012, when a pink flamingo was spotted in New York having a drink. And that time, that highly poisonous snake went missing from the Bronx Zoo. Luckily, I found that one. Here, hold this Very for a second. <laughs> Well, recently, we've had a number of strange animal sightings and escapes around the five boroughs. And we'll start with something that you like to see on top of your flagpole, but not actually on top of your flagpole. The bald eagle. After a century of this being the only eagle in New York, the actual bird has finally returned and making nests around Staten Island. And they're feeding in Staten Island. I wonder what that sounds like. Hey, Mambo! Hey, Vito, I just caught a fish. Nice, dude! And how about this? Last week at Newark Airport, a wolverine. No, like an actual wolverine. <laughs> Made a hole in its carrier in an attempt to escape. And now we have another animal frolicking around the parks of New York City. The cunning and highly skillful coyote. Police have been on high alert recently as multiple sightings of coyotes have occurred all over Manhattan. And mostly they're here on the Upper West Side and they're pretty impossible to catch. Authorities have tried setting traps, <laughs> tricks, <laughs> devices. <laughs> but the coyotes are still at large. But no matter how hard they tried, they could not find these coyotes. Well, that's because they didn't have the right help. Luckily, I do. A creature that's so cunning, so brilliant, he could be the greatest hunter of all time. Ah, you can talk about the pit. You want to take that off? The band was jumping. Okay. So Otis and I set out to find the coyote. But remember, we are professionals. If you see a coyote, do not approach it. Anyway, we finally made it to our destination. We began searching all over Riverside Park, using our senses of sight, hearing, smelling, tasting. Then we decided to strategize. Right, to cover the most ground, let's say we split up. You go that way, I'm gonna go this way, okay? Go. Touch me the ground, I'm on the hunt now I believe the best way to find a coyote is to mimic their mating call. Luckily, I have mastered it. All of them. And then finally, we thought we saw one. Otis, what's that over there? Nope, that's just a really fat pigeon. Shake, 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 Sinora. After hours of searching and scouring for coyotes, we came up empty. So if you see a coyote hanging around New York, do not approach it. Instead, call a professional, like the police or Otis and me. In the jungle, the 